You may have not found a piece of Eden, but this material is invaluable. Look. It says the London assassins had found a shroud. The Shroud of Eden is supposed to heal even the gravest injury. If the assassins had found something like this, surely Father would have known. There must be something we're missing. Something only we can see. These look like directions. Are you coming? Fieldwork is not really my speciality. We found a clue to a precursor object. Don't you want to follow it? Put that way, one can hardly refuse. Come on. Do you know, I think this map may be taken after the Kenway Mansion. Henry, the pilot. Master assassin and pirate, yes. How much do you know about the Shroud of Eden? It's said to heal the sick. Popular myth is that it brings people back from the dead, but the assassin records say that's not true. I've never heard of one being in London, though. Do you really think Edward Kenwood could have found it? He travelled extensively, so it's possible. But if he did, he kept it a closely guarded secret. But if it's true, what a fool it would be. I think this is it. I think you're right. Look. I'll be in the study. I don't want to be interrupted unless you have news of the lost notebook. That makes getting in a challenge. You still intend to enter? If this is a Templar stronghold, it won't get any easier. Don't worry. We'll stay well away from Miss Lucy. Shall we? Can you check over there? Of course. What are we looking for? I'm not quite sure. Do you play? No. I wish I could. I love the sound. You? Not enormously subtle, is it? Clearly, Kenway had a strong sense of spectacle. Assassins. Vault holes, vaults, a hidden key. This is it. You say you heard music. There was no opening there before. It's closing! Yes, I can see that. Help me block it. We need to find another way out. An entire vault, filled with assassin history, left behind once again. We'll just have to reclaim this one later, or find a better cachet. We? Oui. I thought you preferred to stay out of field work. I... I was thinking more of you and your brother. I, I shall provide uh, planning assistance from the train. Jacob's off marauding.
I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes, we had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson, I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. Where would I find the doctor? As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Elidson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. What's the matter? Oh, young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. One of the brutes stole my key, and there's no one around. I can't get out of here. Stole your key? Don't go anywhere. I might be able to do something. Oh, quite. Thank you, sir. It ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. 
you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Sterick has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. You're a child. A child who believes it can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing?